Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to showcase the video player widget found at museforyoushop.com. So, with the video player widget, um, you can do a lot with this. Um, you can add your own custom video controls uh, to the video player, meaning you can style the video controls. Um, so, here we have custom video controls, um, play button, you, the user can fast forward, rewind, pause, mute, and unmute. Um, you can style all of the uh, colors of the video player. Uh, you can add YouTube videos. Uh, you can set the custom size of the video. You can do 100% width for the video. You can play the video on scroll. So when the user uh, scrolls to the video, it plays, or when the video is fully in the viewport or in the browser, it uh, it plays, and when it goes when it goes off the browser, it pauses. Uh, we have autoplay for the video. You can loop the video. Uh, we have on-ended URL action, so when the video finishes playing, you can send a, uh, the user to another web page. Um, it works on mobile. The YouTube uh, function doesn't work as great on mobile, but uh, I'm going to be looking into implementing an update for that. But the HTML5 video or your own like MP4 videos works great on mobile. Uh, the only reason YouTube doesn't is because YouTube kind of has um, a, a play button on already so on mobile it's like the way videos play is a little different but i'm going to look for a workaround on that but youtube videos on desktop uh work really really great so uh but the mp4 videos work on both mobile and uh desktop uh, and here's a video converter so if you want to convert your mp4 files to .ogg and .webm which are the files that you need um, to add to the uh, video player. Uh, you can just click here and um, it'll convert those files for you. You can say, you know, if you have an MP4, you can say convert to .webm and if you have, um, and .ogg, sorry. So webm and ogg, and then you can upload and convert. Okay, so that's there. And then we have some free stock videos. Um, the one I like at the moment is Distill. The videos aren't very large, the file size. And um, yeah, they just work really great. So these are the free stock videos and for the video player you'll probably put your own videos but just in case you wanted to get some free stock videos uh, there's some here and this is the changelog uh, 1.1 i added the ability to play youtube videos in the video player so here are the widget options to the left um, and i'm going to see if i wrote anything else here yeah i wrote the user can mute the audio change the volume fast forward rewind and pause the video Okay, so yeah, these are the widget options here. We have the um, the adding the video here and then setting the video height. And you can have multiple instances of, of the video. So you can have multiple videos on your website. Um, and here we can style the play button. We can style the color of the video player. And we have autoplay loop and controls here and the on-ended URL um, here where you can have the, the visitor go to a specific URL after the video is done. So those are the widget options there. And then I have a few examples here. So if I click on video player, it takes us to the preview page. And here we can see we have a play button. So if I click play, um, there's some audio to that. Um, you can change the audio here. And these are all custom colors that I've used. Uh, you can make it full screen and you can control the video here. So it's pretty cool. You can you can really you know style a video player to match the styling of your website. So it almost seems like you have your own video player for your website. Um, and then we have another video here. Again, you can fast forward. Very good. And fast forward. So those are the videos. Um, we have those there. And then you can do video on scroll. So we have video player on scroll and I'll unmute it. So we can see that the video is playing uh, because it's in the viewport. Uh, once the video is in the viewport or in the browser, it starts playing. Um, and I paused it with the video controls, but initially it just auto played. But we see once it goes out of the viewport or out of the browser, it stops playing and then this next video plays. And then that one pauses and then the next video plays. So as you can see, it, it pauses the video. I'm gonna unmute this or mute this because the audio is pretty loud or I'll just, yeah, no, I'll mute it. Uh, so we can see it pauses once it's out of the browser and it plays once it's fully in the browser. Okay. So now we'll go to the YouTube videos. So I'll scroll down and I'll click on video player YouTube. And here I've just added YouTube videos. So these are videos from my YouTube channel. If we click play, 
the, the video plays and we can fast forward and you can click on the info cards just like you would on a, on a YouTube video you can set it to full screen okay I don't want to have my voice twice there all right so we have that um, we can make it full screen looks great and then we have another video here and another video here okay so that's the YouTube uh, video the video player with YouTube and then we can do video player YouTube on scroll so we see it starts playing once it's uh, it's in the browser okay so as you can see this one's playing I muted it this is John at Muse for you here all right, so we can see we can play the videos on scroll. All right, so those are the preview pages, and now I'm gonna show you um, how to use this widget in your Adobe Muse website. So to get access to this page, you just go to museforyoushop.com, and then you can click on the pop-up here, and then uh, here you can subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year, or you can subscribe with PayPal or you can purchase the widget individually. So if I click here on video player for Adobe Muse, uh, this is the page that I was on. And here you can click on add to cart to purchase individually, individually, or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. So once you get access to the zip file or to this uh, widget, it comes in a zip file. So you simply extract the zip file, uh, then you double click on the .mulib file and it will install directly into Adobe Muse. Um, so I have a blank website here. Uh, once it installs to your, um, it installs into Adobe Muse, it goes in your library panel. And I have my library panel here. I, and uh, if you don't see your library panel, you can just go to Window and click on Library, and it'll bring up the library panel. So I have it here, and now I'll scroll down to the video player widget, which I have right here. And I'll show you the, vi the first video player. Uh, the way it works is kind of, you put the first video player in, and any uh, videos that you have after that you simply uh, click on video player additional and add that to your Adobe Muse website So I'm gonna start with the video player So I'm gonna click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website and then uh, I want to add the video So here we have select mp4 select webm and select OGG. So I'll click add file and I have this video here and There we go and yeah to convert these videos again if you have an mp4 just go here and click on the video converter and then um, select WebM and OGG if you already have the MP4 and then click upload and convert. And you can set the quality, a smaller file size will be less quality and higher quality will be a larger file size. And you can change this here with this, um, with this uh, button here. Okay, so now I'll go back to my Adobe Muse website and I've added all the videos and I'll select the poster image. Uh, for the YouTube videos, you don't need a poster image, but for MP4 videos or HTML5 videos, which are usually MP4, um, you can click on the uh, poster image there. And to get a poster image, if your video doesn't initially come with the poster image, you can just open up your finder and open the video and set it to full screen. And then on Mac, if you hold down Command Shift 4, or no, excuse me, um, Command Shift 3, it'll take a picture of the entire screen. And you wanna make sure that the, the video uh, options aren't here, so we'll wait till that fades out. And then I'll hit Command Shift 3 to take an image of the entire screen. So that would be my poster image for this video. And a poster image just um, is there in case somebody doesn't have like the scripts necessary to play video, but most computers nowadays do have the script necessary to play videos. Okay, so I've added all the video, um, and now let's say I wanted to change the size of this video player. Um, in the video height, I can set it to, you know, change the height here, I can set it to 350. And to change the width, I can just drag out in Adobe Muse and change the width of the video in Adobe Muse. Okay, so I'll position this in the center and I'll close my library panel. So now if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and I click Play, we have the video. So there it is. And you can you can rearrange it, so you know, let's say the video is a certain proportion and you don't want the black lines to appear, you know, I'll just change the, the height a little bit, or just try to get it 
the right dimensions so we don't have any black lines so let's let's do 350 again and that's what's great about having a poster image it can t it can show you um, like if you'll have black lines so maybe it just needs to be a little bit wider yeah so it's kind of kind of matching it to get it perfect so that's pretty good so I'll go to file preview page and browser and there's our video okay so now let's style the play button and the controls uh, if you noticed let me show you again or show it again um, I click play and these are all the colors that I initially I initially had in, in the widget uh, to change the colors you just go to the widget options um, we can change the play button we can change the play button size the play button icon position um, we can do like um, you know position top position left position right position bottom for the for the play button um, yeah and the icon we can change the position of the icon within the play button uh, we can change the border color of the play button border width border type and border radius and then for styling we can change the font and icon color we can change the icon and number size um, we can change the background color background opacity volume and progress bar color volume and progress bar opacity progress bar color loaded bar color loaded bar opacity loaded time ranges color loaded time ranges and loaded time ranges opacity so um, this just is just you know playing around there's a lot of things you can customize in the video player so the first thing I'm going to customize is the color so we can initially see that the colors change so I'm going to do a black and yellow video player so for font and icon color I'm going to change this to yellow icon number size I'm going to make this bigger so I'm going to say, uh, I'll say 20, just so we can see that it gets a lot bigger. Um, and then background color, I'm going to say black. Background opacity, opacity, we'll leave it, or we'll say one, so that it's fully visible. Uh, there's no opacity to it. Volume and progress bar color, let's say yellow. We might need to use white. Let's use white. No, we can do yellow for this, yeah. Yellow. Volume and progress bar opacity, I'll leave it at 0.5. Progress bar color. We'll say uh, we'll say yellow as well, and we'll leave the loaded bar color white, and the opacity we'll leave it at 0.5 for the loaded bar opacity. Loaded time ranges color we'll leave at white, and the loaded time ranges opacity we'll leave at 0.75. And then on the unended URL we'll say museforyoushop.com. Okay, so now I'll go to file preview page and browser. We can see that the play button is yellow, and if I click play, we have a black and yellow video player and I can uh, full screen and if you notice let me turn this down if you notice the uh, the video player controls are much bigger I could even you know do like 30 okay and yeah I hit command shift D but let's do file preview page and browser and now it's really big the players controls are really big so if you notice that when um, I change the player control size, the play button changes as well. And that's because the icon, there's an icon in the play button and we're setting the size of the icon. So if the icon gets bigger, the play button gets bigger. And you could even, you know, change the play button size here as well. So if I say five, yep, and I go to file preview page and browser, we can see that the play button is really big and I can style the play button, um, you know border I can make it like a dashed line I can change the border color to black yeah so actually I'll change this to let's say yellow uh, because the background color of the play button is black so I'll go to file preview page and browser and there we can see it is yellow the border and it's a dashed border and when you hover over it it changes the the color of the um, the border to white all right so yeah before I had it set to black for the border color but if I set it to black you can't really see the border um, because the background color of the play button is already black. Yeah, so it just looks like an entire black um, background there. But yeah, you can you can play with the colors here and change it and just really customize the styling of your play button. Okay, so yeah, I'll leave it at white. And yeah, you can change the border style here and the border radius, like you could say zero and just have a square play button. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. I think I have too many videos loaded there. All right, so there's a square play button. It's very big. You could click play, and the video plays. 
All right. So you want to make sure that your your op your controls aren't too large because as we can see the um, as excuse me as we can see the, uh, the the player controls go off the video. So I'm going to make the player controls a little bit smaller. So I'm going to say uh, right here. I'm going to say 15 for the player controls, the font and icon color. Um, yeah, and the, the font. I'll repeat that again. It says, uh, yeah, the icon and number size I changed to 15 so that it's a little bit smaller. So I'll go to preview page and browser, click play, and there it is. And one thing when you're previewing on um, on your browser, the video, the play controls won't work when you're previewing in your browser when you're working locally on your on your website. But once you upload to a live server, the, the controls will play just fine. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're when you're working on your website without it being on a live server that it's not gonna fast forward um, or rewind uh, when you're viewing um, locally on your computer. So there's the video player. Um, it's the same thing for the YouTube player. Or actually, what I'll show you next is let's say I have one video in. Um, now I'm gonna add an additional video. So let's let's go to the widget here and I'll do video player additional and I'll add that in. For the additional, um, the instance number, you can change, I'll just change this to two because it's the second instance of the video player. And then I can just change all the options here. Okay, so for each instance, you want a new um, instance number for your video. Okay, and then I'll add another video and we'll do like this. And I'll select the poster image as well. Okay, and I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we can see we have the two video players. There's that one, and I'll play this one. So the first video player, the initial one, does control all the styling for the video player. Um, any additional ones will have the same styling as the first one. Okay, and it's the same for the on-scroll videos. So I'll delete this here, and I'll just add the video player on-scroll. And again, I'll just add some video. And the poster image. And I'll make this a bit wider and make the height like uh, 350. OK, I'll position this in the center. And I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. Okay, let me close some windows here. OK, so it starts playing immediately. But let me add some more scroll space to this website just by grabbing this tab down here and pulling it down. And now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. It plays, and then it stops playing. And I'll mute the audio. So it plays once it's completely in the browser um, or in the viewport. And then once it's out of the browser, it, uh, it pauses the video. All right, so that can make for a really nice effect on your website. Uh, and any additional on scroll uh, video players, the same with the first example. Um, just change the instance number here, uh, it's at two. So you can set the different instance number for each video. And then you can change, you know, you can have different uh, sizes for each video. So let's say for this one, I wanted a height of 500. And let's make it really wide. And then I'll go and add a different video. Okay, and I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. Scroll up. Now this one plays once it's in the browser, in the viewport. Okay, very good. So now I'll go over the YouTube videos. Um, yeah, I went over the, the video player for MP4 videos and um, yeah, for MP4 videos or videos that um, you add MP4, WebM, and OGG. Uh, for YouTube videos, uh, it's fairly simple. Um, I'll just click on video player YouTube, click hold and drag. And here for YouTube video ID, we just go to YouTube. Um, so I'll go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com. I'll go to my channel. And so let's say I want this one here, this Valentine's Day effect video. Uh, to, to get this video into the video player, you just copy um, the video ID, which is the last um, characters after V equals. So it's like watch question mark V equals, and then we have this. And yeah, here there's you know www.youtube.com. But basically you just want the characters after 
you know, watch question mark V equals here. So just copy that. Um, and then I'll make the width of this a little bit bigger and I'll make the height 350. Okay, and I'll center this in my browser. Okay, and then, um, yeah, I'll go to the video ID and I'll just erase this and hit Command V to paste the new uh, video. And as we can see, it grabs the cover art for that YouTube video. And I'll make the video player a bit bigger. So I'll say, you know, 15. That looks good. And now I'll go to File, Preview Page and Browser. And I'll click Play. And we can see that video plays all right, and for YouTube videos, the um, the the player controls work just fine in, uh, with YouTube uh, previewing on your on your computer locally. All right, news website. That looks good, and you can make it full screen as well. Now with the and the info cards work as well. There's a file of this art and a file. So yep, that looks good there for YouTube videos, and the same thing with the first example. Um, after the first one, you select the additional. So I'll drag that one in there. You can change the instance number to two, and then just change the uh, you know the video ID. Um, so it initially comes with the video ID, so I'll just leave it in there, and I'll change the height here to 350. Oh, one thing I didn't show as well, um, which I'll show now. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. I'll click Play. If we get to the end of the video, It takes us to muse to, to musefreeshop.com because that's the on ended URL right down here. And we have it enabled here. It says enable on ended URL action, and we have it here. So that's for the YouTube videos. And the last thing I'll cover is the um, the YouTube video on scroll. So the first one we'll click on scroll, YouTube on scroll, and then I'll just paste that one in there and we'll change the height. And I'll make it a bit wider like that. Okay, looks good. And then for any additional ones after the first one, you'll select the uh, video player YouTube on scroll additional. So I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe, Adobe Muse website. And I'll make this the same size. All right. And I'll set this to 350. Okay, so now I'll go to file preview page and browser so it's not playing or no it plays it plays uh, right away because the video is in the browser but if I scroll up the video pauses and the next video plays all right so that looks great and you can mix and match um, different videos so if you had a mp4 video and a YouTube video you could do that do that as well so I'm just gonna delete this first one here so if I go to video player on scroll I'll click hold and drag and I'll just add a video here. Okay, and the poster image. All right, looks good. I'll set the height to 350, no, not 10,000, uh, 350. And I'll set the width here a little bit bigger. Okay, so there we have the video. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And let's close this here, yep. So that plays right away, and then the YouTube video plays. So you can see you have you can have kind of a mix match or mix and is that the right word? Or you can have a video player for MP4 videos and a video player for YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And again, let me just preview one more time just to show you the on-ended URL action. Okay, I have a bunch of videos open, so let me close those. So if I get to the end of the video, or we'll wait till it gets to the end. Probably should have picked a shorter video, but it's almost there. Yeah, it works for YouTube video and MP4 videos. Uh, once it finishes playing, it goes to a website, the website we set in there. All right, looks good. Um, so one last thing, uh, let's go to file, preview page and browser. If you notice the, uh, the controls are the same for both videos. So even if you have a video player, a regular one and a YouTube one, um, if you change the controls for the first one, it'll change it for all the videos, all the video controls 
on any of the videos on the website, whether it's YouTube or MP4. So if I were to make the, um, the button size bigger and change the radius to zero, uh, we can do that there. If I go to file, preview page and browser, and close this here. You can see the, the controls are larger and the same thing here. So, so the first, the first video controls all the controls for the rest of the, for the rest of the videos on the page. And if you're previewing and it's loading the video, video is probably because there's too many tabs open with videos open in it and the browser is using up too many resources. So yeah, just close the tabs and um, the video plays. Okay, I think I covered that pretty, uh, pretty much covered everything there. Um, yeah, so if you find that you can't fast forward your video or rewind, just upload it to a live server and it'll work just fine. Um, I think I've covered everything for the video player. Um, it can be a very cool thing for your website. Um, you can style the video player to match your website and you know have a video website even if, you, if you'd like um, and you know have your own video player for it. And just an idea I had, you could use the file uploader widget and have users upload files to your website, like video files, and add the videos with your custom video player to your website and make for a really cool kind of dynamic and interactive uh, website in that sense if I wanna say interactive, but yeah, more of a dynamic website, you know, where users can upload videos and then, and then you can post them with your uh, video player, uh, video, yeah, video player. Um, so yeah, I, that's pretty much uh, it for this video tutorial. Um, again, to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. Uh, you can click on the pop-up here, and uh, we have the video player here. Um, here you can subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here to use PayPal. Um, or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking here on video player for Adobe Muse. And you can, per you can click here, uh, add to cart to purchase individually. In, yeah, individually, or you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets, widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, you can go to this page, check it out. Um, I have a few preview pages here. Um, yeah, one last thing I wanted to cover. In the bottom section here, you can autoplay the video, you can loop the video, you can initially have the audio muted, and here you can actually disable the controls. So, so it's just a video playing and um, there's no controls for the per, uh, for the user, or I was, was gonna say person. Um, yeah, there's no controls for the user to fast forward or control the video. And then here you can disable the on-ended um, URL action, so it doesn't take the user to another website once it's done. Um, yeah, so here are the widget options, and yeah, if you wanted to check these out, they're here in the, um, yeah, you can go to this page, and here are the widget options. Um, here's more of, of a description. You can get free stock photos, and here's the video converter. All right, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.